years later is a series where I take a look back on past pop culture and cinema and see if films that are 10 or more years older still hold up. Today's episode will be on Space Jam. It was released on November 15, 1996. So, does it hold up? What year is it? Whoa, what? <gasps> Thursday. What year? No. What year is it? So Space Jam, the first one. Now I never grew up with this one. Funny enough, the first time I've seen this movie was again in school. For some reason, a large majority of my first experience is, you know, not only in theaters, but at school. Some of my teachers, they were young enough or just old enough to watch this movie back in 96. And then they were just like, okay, you know, I'm lazy today. Watch this goddamn movie. And that's it. I was like, okay, cool. I get a chill. The teacher is either chilling. Most of the time we're just working. I had a fun time. Rewatching it. It's still fun. It's a kid's movie. Both this and Space Jam Legacy are essentially kid's movies. So you know like i'm not gonna be too hard on it because it's got jokes that are meant for kids and all that stuff i enjoy them well enough i'm not like in love with them now michael jordan isn't known for being an actor so he's not really that great in the film he's a professional basketball player so i'm not expecting a lot out for him but it is a jarring like oh yeah you are you know not the best at acting but it's not your job but he did also sign up in this film to be in this film so i'm sure he had like some acting classes here and there the film opens up with r kelly i believe i can fly and you know with r kelly Kelly being, well, I guess everyone knows about the R. Kelly stuff. Now, I can separate the art from the artist. For R. Kelly, though, specifically, it is specific songs because there's some songs that you listen for him, and it's like, he means this, this, and that. For some songs of R. Kelly, I Believe I Can Fly is one of them. It's a really good song. For some people, this movie might be ruined because R. Kelly's song is in it, and I completely understand that. But either way, getting past that, all the clips of Michael Jordan, and the plot is an evil person or bug alien person wants Michael Jordan because he looks and has the skills of professional basketball player. It's a very simplistic plot for wanting Michael Jordan to play basketball and then Bugs Bunny and then the Looney Tunes squad wanted to beat this alien race over basketball forgetting if it's alien or bugs. You know what? How about I just call them alien bugs? So these alien bugs, right? They go in and possess and get the essence and skills out of professional basketball players while they're playing a basketball game. Can't dribble anymore, which is a bit ridiculous, but whatever. But with this, they get larger and larger, which means that the Looney Tunes squad, they need Michael Jordan's help. Now, the only one that I know is Bugs Bunny. What's up, doc? That's really it. I mean, I know the yellow bird. What's that? Love bird? What's the, uh, my older sister having, like, a big plushie of it? The bird with the large eyelashes. I didn't grow up watching Looney Tunes. I grew up watching, like, Tom and Jerry and, like, back when my parents got cable because cable was a huge thing. And so Michael Jordan, being the nice guy that he is, he agrees to help the Looney Tunes squad, help defeat these alien bugs because they're bullies, they're mean, and he's doing it because he's just a nice guy, you know? Now, one thing that did throw me off is that Bill Murray is in this movie randomly. I forgot that he was in this movie. I was like, wait a minute. Randomly, just at the game, I was like, oh, yeah, you're in this movie. I just forgot about him. I just blinked that shit out right there for a check, probably. Lola Bunny, man. Let me tell you something. If you were a teenager, like, I don't know, 10, 12 years old, around when Lola Bunny was around, or even before this movie, if you grew up watching Looney Tunes, bet you, man, you had a huge crush on this bunny because she looks really pretty for a bunny. I don't know how, but it's a good-looking bunny, you know what I mean? Anyways, I also like the duck, Daffy the Duck, right? Is that his name? The one that's spitting everywhere? I also know him, kind of-ish, but again, I didn't grow up watching the Looney Tunes. And then the game plays out that way that you would expect it at first the bad guys when the villains they win they're cocky they taunt the heroes the good guys but then later on in the game they start to catch up on points michael jordan gives them a kid speech or whatever it's just some kind of speech to encourage them and then they start catching up to the points one point left so then michael jordan's like guess what he'll do the whole big jump the long arm thing to get a point they win the movie ends off on a good note bad guys they leave and that's it essentially again it's a kid's movie i didn't watch this movie as a kid i don't have a strong nostalgia for it or have fond memories of going to the theaters and watching it i just saw it in school because my teacher was either lazy most likely or she was busy and you're like, you know what watch a damn movie you damn kids and that's it it's a feel good movie that you're not supposed to take seriously at all you're just supposed to have a good time and that's it so yeah space jam 25 years later still holds up it's fun entertaining and still good warner brothers presents space jam Here. Space Jam A New Legacy is the same movie, but it's just a bunch of references. Kind of like Brady Player One where that movie is like, hey, there's Chucky, there's the Iron Giant, there's Freddy's Gloves and Jason. Like, A New Legacy is that. Where you meet Game of Thrones, or not meet, but you see LeBron, Riververse, Harry Potter, The Matrix, Mad Max. It's more meta, which I like. I don't mind the meta-ness of this film, but it's like, why then? Like, what's the point of having a sequel or a second movie if you're gonna have references in like the past 10 or 20 years? It's fine, you know, I like it. 
again it's a kids movie and so i remember there's a lot of like negative reviews about it or just kind of like you know this movie sucks and it's like well i don't know i didn't even care about it i went and being like this is like a kids movie again the first one but then instead it has a different plot of lebron trying to teach his son how to play basketball but his son is lacking it he doesn't want to do it he's more interested in video games or like programming and making a video game instead of playing basketball and anytime his dad comes in he switches to like basketball stuff he fears that his dad wants him to go this way but then the son whose name i just completely forgot about wants to go the other way and i like that you know it's like okay that's what some parents do probably and then i guess don cheeto's the villain who i just like i like don cheeto you know iron giant not iron giant war machine you know and ocean but he wants to face off against lebron because he's the best player and he wants to get outside of the server verse essentially it's a really weak and dumb motive i'm not gonna even try to make any sense of this because i just want to be entertained and i was entertained and then funny enough the world that they go to in the dc world is like the animated stuff it's not the dceu stuff which i thought was kind of weird because that's like the current universe that's going on right now and instead they go to the animated dc stuff because probably a way more better as an established kind of lore and universe of its own and then the switch to 2d to 3d i didn't mind i want like at first i was like okay is this gonna look bad because i only saw one trailer of it and it looked good some of them look way better in 2d do they have more expression in 3d and then lebron james as an actor he's fine he's slightly better it's average stand-ins for this movie they just need like a face on the poster who's recognizable who's very popular at the time of a sport lebron james is well known some people may not like him because of reasons if you see michael jordan or lebron james you will most likely know who they are the son does play basketball against his father and again like the game before it's the same shtick and then i think that's it i'm not gonna lie i have nothing to say about these two films they're fun if you're in the mood for it don't go in being like horrible this is bad this is dumb just watch the movie the way it is two popular and professional basketball players being thrown in a looting tunes movie that concept within itself sounds ridiculous and dumb so movies gonna be kind of ridiculous and dumb and entertaining not all of the jokes are gonna land because humor is very subjective so i was entertained by space jam a new legacy i liked it i thought it was good and that's it for this episode of years later i don't know what number it is i don't know the number of the episode until i edit and make the thumbnail but it was fun going through these two films i'm never gonna watch them again because again not necessarily for me at least you grew up with the first one and you have huge nostalgia for it so that's it for me this has been the world so far and thank you for watching